there's been a lot of noise surrounding Tyler Hero's name this summer, specifically when it came to a certain trade. The Heat were seen as the favorite to land Damian Lillard for most of the offseason, and if it went down, Hero would have been shipped out of Miami. However, due to Portland's already having three young, talented guards, they had no interest in Hero or Miami's trade package. It seemed though that other teams had interest in Hero, as the Nets, Jazz, Bulls, and Hornets were reportedly interested in landing the guard in a three or four team trade. However, the Blazers decided to trade for Drew Holiday instead of Hero, and that seemed to have rubbed him the wrong way. Now he has to return to a team that was very clearly shopping him all summer, and it could be awkward. He talked about it at media day, and in response to the idea that Portland didn't want him, he said, I feel like I'm pretty damn valuable. And I don't disagree. He has averaged over 20 points per game in two straight seasons, and at 23 years old, he's one of the league's best young scorers. He was also taking jabs at the Blazers, saying, I'm ready to just play the best. Portland ain't the best, so I'm not really worried about Portland. He's clearly angry at the notion that he's not a valuable player, and he'll be out to prove all of his doubters wrong this season. The team lost both of their starting guards from last playoffs, and will need some more scoring. I think we could see him average 25 points per game this season. Tyler Hero is out for revenge this year. Now let's take a deeper look at why. Before we get into the upcoming next level season from Tyler Hero, if you enjoy my content and watch a few videos of mine, think about subscribing. 96% of my viewers are actually not subscribed, so if you watch me before and enjoy the content, drop a sub and comment down below. It really helps the channel. Tyler Hero's name was a regular fixture in trade speculations, particularly in discussions surrounding seven-time All-NBA member Damian Lillard and the Miami Heat. However, it appears that the Portland Trailblazers had no inclination to acquire Hero, and they eventually traded Lillard to the Milwaukee Bucks. As the defending Eastern Conference champions gear up for the upcoming regular season, Hero remains on the Miami Heat roster. This development has put an end to the many conversations about his trade value and his worth in the market. Regarding his own perception, Hero confidently sees himself as valuable as hell. He expressed the sentiment during a question and answer session with Cooper Moorhead, the Heat's manager of basketball content. Is that part of it strange to you, people discussing your worth as if you're a stock or an asset going up and down in value? Moorhead asked him. Hero responded as follows. It's funny, but everyone has their opinion. The only people that really know are the ones in the front offices making the trades and ultimately deciding whose value is what. I feel like I'm pretty damn valuable. I don't know. I feel like I'm valuable as hell. At the end of the day, I'm going to show that this season, and hopefully by the end of the season, I'm going to be in the same boat as Bam. At the age of 23, Hero recently concluded his fourth NBA season, all of which have been with the Miami Heat. Last season, he maintained an impressive performance, averaging 20 points per game while shooting 44% from the field, with a 3-point shooting percentage of 38%. Additionally, he contributed 5 rebounds and 4 assists per game. Unfortunately, his playoff run was cut short, as he suffered fractures in the 3rd and 4th metacarpals of his right hand during Game 1 of the Heat's first round series against the Bucks, causing him to miss nearly the entire postseason. When Tyler Hero is at his best, he is a remarkable scorer with the ability to single-handedly propel his team to wins. His standout moment came during the 2020 Eastern Conference Finals against the Boston Celtics, particularly when he delivered a stunning 37-point performance that secured a Game 4 victory. However, Hero has faced considerable challenges on the defensive end of the floor as evidenced by last season's defensive rating of 115 marking his lowest ever mark. Zach Cram from The Ringer highlighted the problem associated with making Tyler Hero the focal point of a significant trade. For now at least, Hero remains just on the verge of being enough in so many respects. He's close to being a primary scorer, but he's just not quite efficient enough. He's close to being a modern point guard, but he's just not quite dynamic enough. He's close to being a leader of a contender, but he's just not quite well-rounded enough. And he's close to being a centerpiece of this summer's biggest NBA blockbuster, but this far, it appears he's just not quite enticing enough. 
Nonetheless, Hero remains a valuable asset for Miami. His ability to consistently contribute 20 points per game is instrumental in alleviating some of the offensive load off of Jimmy Butler's shoulders. Even though the Blazers didn't express interest in acquiring him, Hero's talent is undeniable, and there's still much to be written in the story of his career, especially at the young age of 23 years old. Hero and the Heat are set to kick off the 2024 season on October 25th against the Detroit Pistons. Tyler Hero is out for revenge this season. Thanks for watching. I'm Herm. Have a good one.